The last two elements of a bad spirit to round out my top 10 I'm going to kind of talk about together, and that is you've either gotten too comfortable or you've just given up. Sometimes we just get comfortable in our relationships and we just kind of quit working on them. Remember I told you way back, I think it was in the first episode of this we did, I said a relationship is like a garden. You just go out in the middle of a field and you take a hoe and you chop all the weeds back, kind of scrape up the ground there and get you a pretty good little patch of dirt and you plant some vegetables there. You water it and you tend that garden. It can really flourish. But you're going to have to tend it. You're going to have to keep the weeds back. You're going to have to keep watering it. If you neglect it and you come back and you haven't watered it or weeded it for a month or two, you won't even be able to find it. It'll just be swallowed back up into the landscape. It'll just be swallowed back up into the hillside. Same thing with your relationship. You carve this out special. And if you don't continue to tend it, it won't be special anymore. It'll just be another part of your life. So don't get too comfortable. And if you've given up, if you've convinced yourself, there is nothing I can do to change this relationship, what you're really saying is there's nothing I can do to change me. Because that's all you can ever change in a relationship is you. If you give up on a relationship, you are giving up on you. I've said from the beginning, you are the only person in this relationship you can influence. The only person in this relationship you can change. You can inspire your partner. Hopefully, they'll want to follow you to a happier place, a better mood, a better vibe, a better way of being in this world. But if you give up on your relationship, you're really giving up on you. So if you've just surrendered to the reality of just going through the motions of a bad or mediocre relationship, you've given up on yourself. If you say, what's the use? It's never going to change. You need to take it out of there and put in I. What's the use? I will never change. There is no it. There's only I. If you no longer even bother to protest, if you're attacked or abused by your partner, you've given up on you. If you think it's pointless to try to change because it will only make the other party get angry, then you've given up on you. There's just no place to give up. So remember I said, in every relationship, you either contribute to it by what you bring with you, the thoughts, beliefs, history, and feelings that you bring with you when you walk into that relationship. Those things are either positive and they contribute to the relationship, or they're negative, and you contaminate that relationship. So the question is, are you a contributor, or are you a contaminator? Do you have a positive outlook, a positive energy? Are you living in the here and now, or are you dragging the past into your relationship, things that have happened in the past? Let me tell you, if you live your life looking over your shoulder, then your past becomes your future. Don't go through life looking over your shoulder. Your past then becomes your future because that's all you ever look at. There comes a point where you have to say, I'm hitting the reset button. I'm starting over right here. Now, I'm not telling you to forget. If you're in a relationship with somebody and they've cheated on you four times in the last year, forgive them. But don't be stupid. The best predictor of future behavior is relevant past behavior. If they've cheated on you four times this year, they're probably going to cheat on you four times or more next year. Get out. Hit the bricks. Go away. Forgive them so you don't spend the rest of your life being bitter about it. But that doesn't mean you got to be stupid. Get out. I'm not saying you forget what they did. I'm not saying you pretend they didn't do it. I'm just saying forgive them so you don't spend your life locked up in a bitterness and hatred with them. You can forgive them without accepting what they do. So answer the question. In each relationship you evaluate, are you a contributor or are you a contaminator? The only way you can do that is if you do a relationship autopsy. Ask yourself, where is this relationship on a 1 to 10? Is it a 2 or is it an 8? We want our relationships to be 10, right? If it's a two, you need to figure out eight reasons it's not a 10. And if some of those aren't yours, you're kidding yourself. So rank your relationships on a one to 10. And if you say, well, it's a three, then you need to write down eight reasons it's not a 10. It may be because they lie, cheat, betray. That'd be three. You got five more. You need to be on that list. There are things you're doing because you have to be accountable. All relationships are mutually defined. I just want you to be rid of your bad spirit.
and get it out of there so we can start defining our relationships going forward in a healthy way because that's where we're headed in the future, how to have a healthy relationship and enjoy it.